In this video, I'll be giving you a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to use TinyTask on Roblox. So you can grind in your favorite Roblox games for over 20 minutes without being kicked, or you can use TinyTask to create macros to do specific things in Roblox games like grow a garden, simulators, tycoons, and you can use TinyTask for so much more. And I'll be giving you the most detailed tutorial on how to use TinyTask so that you can use it to its fullest potential. Anyway, let me stop wasting any more of your time and let's get straight into the video. Okay, firstly, how do we download TinyTask? Make sure you go to link in the description or the comments down below and I'll have a link to the tiny task website which is the real and official place where you can download the software you don't want to get it from anywhere else now once you're here what you want to do is you want to press download and you want to press download on the newest version and then you'll get this pop-up right here and then you just want to press save now you get this download pop-up right here just go ahead and double tap on it and it will instantly open up the tiny task window okay let's go ahead and get into a Roblox game real quick so I can show you how tiny task actually works all right so now that we're in our Roblox game let me first explain how tiny task task works and what it actually does. Basically what tiny task is, is a key logger. And I know that sounds really bad, but basically how it works is when you press this record button right here, everything that you press on and everything you tap on your keyboard will be recorded in the key logger. So for example, maybe you're in a simulator and you're clicking a bunch that would act as an auto clicker. But what's even better about tiny desk is that for example, you can jump, you can walk around and literally do whatever you want. Now what we can do, we can press the record button again, and that will stop the recording. And then we can go ahead and press this play button and that will repeat literally everything that we did. Everything from pressing to jumping. Literally, it will do whatever you want and it will do it on repeat. And now you might be thinking, well, Jeff, this is really cool, but how do I tweak it to do specific things that I need it to do? Like for example, looping whatever you record it. So it'll just keep on doing it again and again so you can go AFK. Or how do you speed up whatever you're trying to do? Or how do I save specific things that I wanted to do so that I can use it in different games? Well, let me go ahead and explain all of that for you. So let me give you a rundown of the settings. Basically, you want to go to preferences right here should be these two tools play speed is basically exactly what you think it is let's say for example you recorded yourself clicking a bunch of times if you set it to 2x speed it will click two times as fast if you do 100x play speed it will do whatever you recorded 100 times faster you can also set a custom speed so you can do it literally as fast or as slow as you want most of the time you won't really have to worry about these but just so you know that's what that does and now this setting is really important basically without playing this continuous playback button whatever you recorded will not repeat. So for example, maybe you're trying to make an auto clicker or you're trying to do a specific macro. For example, maybe in Grow Garden where you're trying to buy a bunch of seeds. If you don't click the setting and have the little check mark next to it, it won't loop whatever you're trying to do. So you'll press the play button once and then it will just stop after it's done. So make sure you press this button if you're trying to loop whatever you're trying to do. And then the setting under it, see for example, you're just trying to set something to do only a couple of times. You just put how many times you want your recording to do your task. Say for example, you want to do it five times and then you can press OK. You can press the button again, and then it will go ahead and do it five times. So let's say, for example, now you want to save your recording so that whenever you go into another game, you can easily access it and you don't have to make the recording all over again. What you want to do, you just want to record whatever you're trying to do. You want to go ahead and press save and then give it a little name. I'm just going to name it subscribe smiley face. Since it's saved now, what you can do, you can press open and it'll have this little cone icon next to it. You just want to press on it and then it will go ahead and open and then you can just press play and it will start doing your task all over again. And it doesn't matter if you record something else, you can always go back to it. And the last thing you need to know is just setting your hotkeys, which is basically the button that will stop and start whatever you're trying to do. So just go to your preferences and then you want to go to recording hotkey. I would select F8 personally. That's just the best button on your keyboard because it's not really assigned to anything. So it's open for use. So whenever you want to record something, you can just press F8 and it will go ahead and start recording. And if you press F8 again, it will stop. And now if you want to play that recording, you can select a different button. The best one you could use is F12. And that will be the F12 key on your keyboard. And that will go ahead and play your recording. And then you can press F12 again to stop it. And that's how you use Tiny Task. And with using Tiny Task, you make macros for any game you want. The most common one right now is probably Grow a Garden. You can also use it for simulators. Please donate. You can set up an auto clicker with Tiny Task. And then you could just set it for continuous playback. And that will keep you AFK in a game. This program just works perfectly. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. But before you go, YouTube thinks you really like this video right here on the screen. So if you want to take your chances, go ahead and press on it and see if you like. It. If this video helped you out, hit that like and subscribe button, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.